Thank you. I'd like to thank the Unseld family for allowing us to do this and pay some measure of homage to Wes Unseld and what he meant to our fans, what he meant to the city, what he meant to the NBA. Um, it is something when the NBA announces its 75 greatest players and Wes is still a pillar in there. It also was great to hear Dr. J last week say the only player in the NBA who concerned or scared Will Chamberlain was Wes Unsell. Um, I was a student at Georgetown University when the team was great, 76, 77, 78, and I admired the way he played. He just had this strength about him, and he was such a one-of-a-kind player to be 6'7 and just dominate the game, just to be able to do all of the things that were necessary to bring the team together and make for a winning team. Um, I got to know Wes when I bought in, bought the Capitals and then bought in to the Wizards, and I wasn't allowed to talk basketball. And whenever I'd see Wes, he'd ask me, what's the last book I read? we talk about politics. I would talk to him about what it was like growing up in the South, going to Louisville. Um, when he did, we talk about Muhammad Ali. I didn't realize that uh, the relationship. And I found Wes to be um, what I wanted to be, a husband, a father, now a grandfather first, and that that's what would define you. Um, your career is transitory, and especially when you're a professional basketball player, you know there's a finite number of years, but being a pillar and member of the community, being a great husband, being a great father, being a great grandfather, um, that sticks with you. So it was um, you know, terrible that Wes passed. It was equally as terrible that it was during a pandemic. And so while we were able to do some things to uh, pay homage to him and say thank you for all that he and his family contributed, uh, we said, well, let's start a new tradition. Let's, um, when there's an iconic, most important figure, let's start to create our own monuments, right? This is a city of monuments. And the reason monuments are important is that they are their generation to generation. And I can imagine now grandfathers coming to the game with their grandkids and coming by and taking a photo and saying, you know, this was Wes Unseld, here's who he was. And just being able to pass that knowledge and give that connective tissue to what the organization, what Washington DC was all about. And so, you know, I'll also say, and I want to introduce Rebecca, who's been so close with the family, and we worked on this project together, uh, we had never made a bus before. And um, I said, it's going to take two years to make the bus. And he said, what if we don't like it? And it was kind of, well, it's too bad once it gets baked. <laughs> so we've gotten a look at it, and I wanted Rebecca to come up and just talk about the process here and what we have done because it'll set a good example as we do this in the coming years for some of our other great players. Rebecca? Good afternoon, everyone. Good afternoon. Uh, I am delighted, overwhelmed, just very, very happy to be here. And I want to thank Mr. Leonsis for being so kind, being so considerate, and thinking about Wes. I've been married to Wes for 50 years. And when he left, it was like a part of me leaving. It's been a rough time. And this has brought so much joy to me. But he has brought so much joy to me, too. <laughs> Coming back home, it is unbelievable. It's a celebration. I'm so happy. Um, this is a time for us to rejoice. And my grandson, Wes, my granddaughter, Layla, my daughter-in-law, Evelyn, my daughter Kim and Wes and I are so, so grateful for this opportunity to see Wes here in this arena. 
thank you all for coming and thank you Mr. Leontes for allowing this to happen. Thank you. I just want to thank everybody for coming. Uh, to Mr. Leontes, I can't uh, say enough, not only for the opportunity uh, to begin my next chapter in my career as the uh, head coach, the, the leader of uh, a tremendous organization, um, not just in a city that you know I call home, uh, a city that's been great to me from day one, and uh, to see now another piece of that legacy moving forward. I can't thank you enough for your generosity, your kindness, your vision, uh, but also the the thought thoughtlessness thoughtfulness rather that uh, you've showed um, every member of the Washington family. So on behalf of my family, the Unsell family, um, I can't thank Monumental Sports and the Wizards enough. I really do appreciate uh, the, this gesture and I do look forward to walking through these halls once again uh, to see not only that but to take a peek up in the rafters. We've talked about it at length, and I think tomorrow will be a special night for a number of reasons. But uh, this makes it that much special. So thanks again. I appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you, everyone, uh, for coming to this event, uh, especially Mr. Leonsis. Our family is deeply moved by this gesture. Uh, I know my brother and I have a lot of jokes about Daddy still roaming the halls and daddy's still doing things or hearing daddy and my nephew and my niece. Uh, but this brings things home so much more. Um, as it's already been said, daddy has been more than an impact to a lot of people. And as children in the house, I don't think we really understood it. Um, we just knew that on certain days he couldn't come to parent conferences, and maybe that was a good thing, <laughs> especially if you were ornery like me. Uh, so <laughs> uh, we didn't look at it in that way. Um, now that uh, my brother is in the position that he's in, we're very proud. We're also very proud of the fact that the city, the community, this organization, everyone seems to be right behind and that couldn't make not only us more proud, but it couldn't make, I'm sure, Daddy smiling, um, looking down. We're grateful, um, we're happy, um, we're excited, and we hope that this excitement will continue. Again, um, thank you so very much.